Hello viewers. Fertile window or fertile period is a common thing which should be known by couples who are planning for pregnancy. There are so many people who don't know about this fertile window or fertile period. They keep trying for pregnancy on wrong days and they complain doctors that doctor we tried a lot but there is no pregnancy. And there is not much of awareness regarding these fertile days. So now fertile days generally depends on female ovulation cycle. So now when the you have to calculate from the first day of bleeding or the day when the period starts. Now that is day one that should be calculated as day one, not the last day of period because most of the people they calculate from last day of period that is the mistake they do. So now because for periods it can be uh, three days for some, uh, some females, it can be four days or five days or seven days, it depends. So you have to calculate for uh, the period or the days from day one. Now, first three days or four days there will be bleeding. Generally, uh, couples avoid intercourse during that period. Even for females, they don't feel comfortable during this, uh, comfortable to have sex during those days. But immediately after that, once the bleeding stops, the egg release, see, ideally how you have to understand is normally the egg release in females or ovulation happens 14 days prior to uh, the uh, bleeding time. So now how you have to calculate is if a female's ovulation or uh, period, is, period cycle is around 28 days, then egg release will happen on 14th day. If the cycle is around 30 days, then egg release happens on 16th day. If egg release, uh, if cycle is 32 days, then it happens on 18th day. So that means you have to see what is the average uh, duration of the cycle. And from that cycle, you have to uh, minus 14th. So that is the day of egg release. So now one day here and there, that should be enough. So now ideally on average, what we say is 11th to 18th day is the fertile window for most of the females. That is the time you have to have intercourse to have pregnancy. And there are people who try to have two times, three times in a day during that fertile days, two, uh, two times or three times sex in those fertile and every day on those fertile days, again, this is a myth. You don't have to try uh, intercourse more than once on those fertile days because if you try continuously also, the volume of the ejaculate will be low, the count of the sperm also will be on the lower, lower side. There are two schools, schools of thought. One, during fertile days, either on daily basis, daily once, if you have intercourse, that is enough irrespective of typing. Some people, they ask me, doctor, whether to have sex in the morning or uh, evening or night. So that doesn't matter. So if you regularly have sex uh, in the night, that is enough. You don't have to plan it in the morning and night. So every day from 11th day to 18th day, that is also okay. Or even alternate days from uh, during those uh, seven days, Every alternative, that is 11th day, 13th day, 15th day and 17th day, the, even that is enough. Because sperm survives in the female genital tract for 24 to 48 hours. And even if egg is released, it survives for 24 to 48 hours. So there is enough time for this egg, for the egg and sperm to uh, combine and form a uh, uh, jagut or embryo. So you don't have to sex daily or daily sorry daily twice or thrice during those fertile days and once you cross that 18th day or 19th day even if you have intercourse they are they are called non-fertile days 
so those days the chance of getting pregnancy is very less so this same principle helps for people who are not trying for pregnancy those who are trying to avoid pregnancy and those who are not willing to use a condom or other contraceptive device so people they worried that when they worried that they get pregnancy if they have sex during those days then you can they can use this fertile window period to uh, calculate which are fertile days and when to have sex so we advise them to have sex more on those days non fertile days so that you can avoid pregnancy so this uh, there are so many apps regarding this in uh, Uh, both in uh, android and uh, this uh, uh, apple uh, stores you can use them you can put uh, the day one uh, you can remember the if you remember last 3 4 period dates if you put them you will actually get what day on what day you get pregnancy thank you